Hello, welcome to part three of the Lightning Feather Poncho Crochet Along. Thanks for joining me. I am Susan Kennedy of Pretty Peaceful. And today we're gonna make the poncho back, which is a double crochet rectangle. Um, if you want to, you can make the, this poncho front again, if you want a color work motif on the back of your sweater as well as on the front. Um, but the poncho back has writ is written in the pattern is just a plain, um, solid color back using your main color yarn. I'm um, using Lion Brand Pima Cotton in the colorway blueprint. Um, and it's the same uh, size rectangle as the poncho front. So for the extra small to medium size, we're going to have 87 double crochet stitches per row. And for the large to extra large size, we're going to have 103 stitches per row. For the 2x to 3x size, we'll have 115 stitches per row. And the 4x to 5x size will have 127 stitches per row. So you'll either chain 89, 105, 117, or 129 stitches, depending on what size you're making. Double crochet in the third chain from the hook and all chains across. So you'll either have 87, 103, 115 or 127 double crochet stitches. And then we're just going to uh, double crochet into each stitch in every row. And that's <laughs> that's as easy as it gets. So for the uh, extra small to medium size, we're gonna crochet 41 rows total. For the large to extra large size, we're gonna crochet 45 rows total. And for the 2x to 3x size, we're going to crochet 49 stitches total. And for the 4x to 5x size, we're going to crochet 51 stitches total. Uh, 51 rows total, sorry. <laughs> so um, it's just a basic square and this uh, basic rectangle here. You can make it as many rows as you want, really, if you want your poncho to have a longer back to it, uh, more more booty coverage. <laughs> you can crochet as many rows as you want. Um, for me, the color work rows on the poncho front uh, tend to be a little bit tighter and a little bit shorter um, than just plain double crochet rows. So the front, for my crochet tension, even though it has the same number of rows as the poncho back, ends up a little bit shorter. Um, but I kind of like that. I kind of like a little bit of a, like a split hem look, um, or the back of the poncho is a little bit longer. But feel free to lay your poncho front out and make them match exactly. And that might mean you, you might need one or two less rows on your poncho back. You could stop a couple rows early if you want your front and back to be exact same length. That's just something that's gonna vary person to person as far as your cro crochet tension. And it's kind of a, I guess, a design a choice. <laughs> But for me, I'm going to make the pattern as written. Um, I'm making the extra small to medium, so I'm going to work 41 double crochet rows. We're just going to repeat that row two every single time, crochet across. So this is good kind of meditative, simple crocheting for when you've had a long day and can't think too much. <laughs> uh, no, de no decision fatigue. You don't have to look at the pattern. Um, so after I finish my poncho back rectangle, I will show you how to join the front and back at the shoulder seams and create a little neck hole and that'll be it for part three and then in part four of the crochet along we'll do kind of the finishing touches making our cord that joins the sides of the ponchos our little zigzag lightning cord and our little macrame feather tassels uh, to put on the end of those cords okay now um moving on with our crochet along for part one we worked from here to here on the poncho front. For part two, we finished the poncho front, including those color work rows and the rest of the kind of plain rows here. And for part three, we made the poncho back, just this kind of plain shape here. And now we're gonna join the front and the back together to make the poncho. So the way I like to do this is to crochet the two pieces together along the shoulder seams here, just single crochet them together. Um, but I don't want the single crochet to show on the outside of the sweater. So I am going to put the inside, um, the, the front of the poncho to the inside of our work here. And we're gonna crochet 
in from each edge and then fasten off leaving the neck hole open. And then after we've crocheted those together, we'll turn it right side out. And then in part four, we'll, we'll finish the rest of the poncho with kind of the fun little boho details. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit to show you how to single crochet these two together. So if you have, um, when you fasten off, like when I fastened off on my poncho front here, I had a little ball of yarn left over. You can save that for seaming. Um, but I didn't have anything left over on my poncho back here, so I'm going to attach new yarn. Um, I'm still using my 55 millimeter hook, the same hook I used for the rest of the poncho. So I'm going to put some yarn on my hook with a slip knot here. And I'm going to crochet these two together, um, just inserting my hook through both the front and the back pieces. So insert your hook under both loops of the first stitch on the poncho back and then pick up the first stitch on the poncho front and slip stitch and then you can chain one and just single crochet through both the front and the back. One single crochet into each stitch going under both the front and the back stitches here. And we're going to work like this for the extra small to medium size crochet 30 stitches together and then fasten off for the large to extra large size crochet 38 stitches and then fasten off for the 2x to 3x size crochet 44 stitches and then fasten off and for the 4x to 5x size crochet 50 stitches and then fasten off. Although you may want to try it on if you're making it for you, making your own size. Before you fasten off on both sides or maybe leave yourself a little um, you know cut your yarn but leave yourself a little extra in case you want to go back and adjust making a little tighter making a little looser um, you may want to wear your poncho as kind of like an off the shoulder sweater in which case you might want a bigger neck hole um, so these are just recommendations if you want to change up how how many stitches you're uh, stitching together for the front and the back here, please feel free. So we're making just this kind of neat little seam. You can't really see it from the other side when we turn the poncho right side out. So let's see how many I have here. I need 10 more. Okay, and here's my last stitch. So I've worked 30 stitches here, and I'm going to cut my yarn and fasten off. And then we're leaving a neck hole of 27 stitches here on each side. So no matter um, whether you've crocheted together 30, 38, 44, or 50 stitches here, you're going to leave the next 27 stitches blank. So um, you can either count them out and put a stitch marker here, um, or just, I, what I like to do is just flip the poncho over <laughs> and work from the other side here and just crochet these. Uh, oops, I accidentally turned it right side out. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh. Um, forgetting that both sides are reversible here. Okay, so now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I have some yarn already attached here, so I'm going to use it just to save myself from weaving in an end. And I'm going to do the same thing I just did. I'm going to crochet the first 30 stitches together for the extra small to medium size. Um, 38 for the large to extra large. 44 for the 2x to 3x or... 50 for the 4x to 5x size. 
So no matter what size you're making, you should have a neck hole of about 27 stitches. Um, and of course, feel free to adjust that for whatever you prefer. And my last stitch here, I'm going to pull the rest of this yarn through. So I have sewed up both sides on my shoulder seams here, leaving this 27 stitch kind of gap here for the neck hole. So now's a good point to try it on and see if you want to adjust it. So you kind of just flip it back inside out. And I'll show you what it looks like over on my mannequin here. So here's what my uh, poncho looks like on the mannequin. After part three, we've got our neck hole created. So you can leave more stitches open or close this up even more. Um, of course, weave in the little end here from your seam. <laughs> and um, it's really taking shape now. So congrats for making it this far. So now in, in part four, we are going to work a little edging along this kind of straight end, you know, of our joined front and back rectangle. And we're gonna close the side gap here with lacing and then some really fun boho tassels. So I hope you join me for part four and thanks for watching, bye.